This video is recorded using the Tentacle Track E. I'm going to show you how to operate the Track E via the Tentacle app. First, download the app and connect to the device. To do this, click the Add Device button. Once Tentacle Track E is turned on, you will see it appear on your devices. Then just tap the device you wish to connect to, in this case the Tentacle Track E. Hold both devices close together and they'll connect. Once your Track E is connected, you'll be able to record and control your Track E. You can see the time code, battery life and adjust the headphone volume along the top. Below that you have your audio level. At the moment we're in the recording tab, here you can see your waveform. You can set the gain, you can see the record button, apply a low cut filter, and also apply plug and power. Next we'll go over to the settings. Here's where you can change the name of your device, the recording format from 48kHz to 32-bit float or 24-bit. You can change the LED brightness, you can also change it if the LED brightness is on your voice recording. You can also assign the switch on the track E and change it to different functions and see general information. Then we're ready to hit the record button. You can see the waveforms turned orange. When you stop the recording, you'll see it's turned grey again. You can now go over to playback and listen back to your recording. You need to have headphones plugged into the track E to listen back to your recording. This does not work through your mobile device or the app. Next, I'll show you how to sync your track E to your sync E. The same process as the track E, you click add devices, select the devices you wish to connect, hold them close to the app, and then you'll get a message notifying you when they're synced or if they're not synced. Once you've connected all your devices, press the sync button. You can then select the frame rate and the time code starting point. You'll know this has worked because you'll be able to see the time code on both devices is synced up. You'll also get a little message to confirming that it has worked. You're then ready to plug your Sync E into your camera or other device, and then you're ready to go.